Hi, and you're watching uh, Pods Oil Earth Formation with Mr. Mercer on Geography Geeks. Now, in this kind of question, you're going to be asked to describe and explain the conditions which form this soil. Um, you can use a diagram in this answer, but sometimes you'll be provided with a diagram, in which case you should just answer with a paragraph. Now, um, let's get started. First of all, this oil has got four layers, the AO layer, the A horizon, B horizon and C horizon. Now, when you're drawing your diagram for this, I would recommend a simple ladder-like structure and then labelling each layer as you see them labelled here, and then add a conifer tree to the top with shallow roots. When you're answering a question like this, it's logical to start at the AO layer and work your way downwards. So, I want you to imagine a cold climate with high precipitation, uh, possibly uh, at a higher altitude, um, and these conditions lead to slow decomposition. Now, the forest environment you could imagine here would, in, would have conifer trees, which have pine needles. When these fall from the trees, they actually add to the acidity of the humus, leading to a more humus, an acidic humus. That takes us on to the A horizon, and it's cold, and that means there's not going to be very many worms or other biota in the soil, meaning, to, meaning there's a lack of bioturbation, and so the horizons are well defined. Uh, this lack of mixing leads to uh, a poorly aerated soil. Uh, it'll be fine-grained, it'll be quite dense in texture. Um, the shallow roots of the trees mean that water isn't readily drawn back up to the surface by capillary action, um, and therefore it's likely to be waterlogged. The ash-grey colour is due to the high levels of leaching because of the high level of precipitation, and that washes the hummus down into the B horizon. Now in the B horizon you're going to see a darker reddish brown colour due to the hummus having been washed down, and aluminium and ferrous compounds within that uh, will uh, gather to form, as you can see quite clearly in the picture, an iron pan. That iron pan is impermeable and is likely to lead to uh, even further water logging, and it'll also inhibit any roots that do get deep enough down um, from breaking up the uh, sea horizon bedrock. Now the sea horizon bedrock is likely to be impermeable, and this could possibly be due to it being permafrost, um, or just impermeable rock, and the importance of that is, is that it further inhibits uh, drainage and encourages water logging. Okay. Um, that's pretty much a podzol earth in a nutshell, and just to summarise the main points, you've got the zone of illuviation. Now, in this instance, we've got quite an acidic humus, we've got high precipitation, so all of those nutrients are going to get washed out of the zone of illuviation in the A horizon. That's going to be bound up with the process of downward leaching of those nutrients, and of course iron pan formation in the B horizon, where you have your zone of eluviation, where the nutrients are getting washed to. There's no long roots, so a capillary action will not return nutrients to the surface very readily, um, and that's why you get the darker colour further down in the soil. Okay, I hope that helped. If you've got any questions, come and find me in class or at a revision lesson.